Is it working? <laughs> What's going on, friends? This is like my 12th try. Um, I'm on even ground. It's You wouldn't understand it. Maybe I'll put that in the back in the, in the end. In the booth. But anyway, we're at the shop. I got something cool to show you. A little surprise here. It's a project that was started, God, I'd say, geez, 10 years ago, maybe more. It was something that was rescued, a few things that were rescued out of the woods. Um, started a little project. It got put on hold for 10, probably 15 years by now. It's redragged out of the woods, and we're getting back at it. So take a look at this thing. Look at this beauty. I think it's a 1940, 1941. No, it's 1940, because 1940 had signal lights up here. 41, I think they were down there. There you go, CyberDoc. That's what I was telling him, talking about when I said with the drawings and the details. That's the stuff I learned. The more you know. Well, anyways, let's get back at it. I hope I was even in that picture. I know what you're thinking. That's a pretty cool 1940, maybe, Chevy truck. And you're half right. It is a truck, but it's a car as well. It's not... It's got a bed, but this is a car. This is, a, I believe, like I said, 1940. That's a, a, a car. That's a sedan right there. And what we did was cut it off right between the doors. Got the back of a truck, back of a cab. It's rough. It needs a lot of work. This was done years ago, and like I said, it sat in a field for years afterwards. But welded the back of a cab of a Chevy truck on. So that's the front of a car, the back of a cab of a truck, and then obviously a whole custom built bed that is still in the middle of being built. I guess you could say it's a precursor to a El Camino? No, not really, because El Camino is the bed draw connected. Either way, it's really cool. Front of a car, back of a truck, it's just, look at this thing. Because the truck had a, had a higher roof on it, you know, for getting in and out. It had a, a shorter nose on it, but just look how long that nose is from the car with the bed on it. Doesn't that look cool? It is just a unique project that was thought up uh, thought up by my buddy here and thought about it one day, dreamt it up and got some cars, we dragged them out the woods and uh, put this together. And like I said, it sat for many years and uh, now all the other projects are on hold, or you know, done, and other stuff. Stuff that's on hold is is able to come back out. Now, you know, it's a lot of dents that were fixed here. I mean, these are all original. All these parts, nothing's been redone. That's probably a dent that was fixed 50 years ago. Who knows? Just tape some of the stuff on there, just to you know, get an idea of where they're gonna go. But look at this, and she's got a motor in there now. It does run. Um, Needs a lot of age. It's got no brakes. That's why it's out here with a forklift, in case you're wondering. But it does run. It's got the original ignition hooked back up. The original keys that came with the car. Everything's working. So little by little, it's a very old, very long project and process. I don't know what you want to call it, but oh, that was the sound of my soda can fall. I love the way this looks with this cracked glass and stuff. That just looks really neat. You know, people we normally wouldn't want broken windows. I just like the way that looks. It's old metal. It's old steel. It's old glass. It's all like old original stuff. Side pipes are hooked up. They are real. A couple of steps going to them, but they are real. And just one really unique, cool project. Look at this thing. You know, like this. What? What's this story tell right here? What happened here? This crease. Was that something that, you know, some woman? Some old lady hit something in 1950, or, or maybe the farmer was driving it and he hit his tractor with it, or was pushing it with his tractor. Who knows? Who knows what happened with this stuff? But it's cool. It all tells a story, and it's really unique. See, you know, I got some wires out here. It, it's still a working project. Uh, working project. A work in process. I can't even say it right. <laughs> get a look inside here. Hold on, let me get you guys in. Now, this is all the original interior out of the car. You got your uh, your T is for throttle. That was your cruise control. What you would do is just pull this lever out. It's all mechanical linkage. Your C is choke. Um, your radio would have been here, I think, because this is your knob for the radio. But it's got an ashtray here, so and radios were an option back then. They still are in a lot of cars, believe it or not. But I love these old dashboards. Look at that. I'm trying to get this all hooked up and working. I'm not really sure what's going to work and what's not, but... 
Still a lot of work that needs to be done. You can see we got the wiring going. Built a new transmission tunnel to get the new motor in there. And, you know, just coming along nicely. And you can see here where, and I guess you can't, right here where we took the uh, original back of the truck and mated it to the original roof of the car. And as you did, the truck was blue at one point, as you could see. I don't know if that was the original color or not. It was several different colors, but yeah. I mean, that's just steel from the truck, made it with steel from the car, and it just looked pretty freaking cool. So anyways, let's get to the business end of this thing. Get a look at this. Yes, sir. You, you guys see it right. There is some meat back here. You know, we got a, not much under the hood, a little bit, but you got to get it to the road. Anyways, the motor was just put in just to get the thing going. Whoever buys it, obviously this thing will handle a much bigger motor. Look at this, huh? Get that fully adjustable rear end. This is great for any application. You can make all your adjustments, your angles for launching, for torque, for everything. It's really great setup. I love those those four links. Look at this angle, huh? That look cool. Uh, the the tail light you're looking at is just experimental. I think it's off a Buick or an old. It's something we're playing with. Um, everybody puts the Corvette tail lights in these things, and you know it's. We're not everybody. We gotta do something different here. That's what they call it. Creative. Look at that. And plus, this thing right here, I mean it's probably not gonna be exactly where it's gonna go. It's gonna have to be moved around a little bit, but this thing as you see actually matches the headlight perfectly. So it just follows the theme right through the vehicle with that. So we might line it up with this a little bit. Not really sure what's gonna happen yet. But either way, it's gonna look really cool. You can see here, I've got, uh, got to extend the wheel wells, obviously, because the tire is a little bit wider than what would, would have been under. I can't talk today. A little bit wider than what would have been under there originally. And, uh, yeah. Just a little sample of what we do here, what we build. You can see this side a little bit more. How it was done is measured up and then tacked together with this just scrap steel. Tack it all together. And just once that piece is all tacked in, these get cut out, and then you have something similar to this, which will eventually turn into something similar to this, and then get covered up and disappeared. Look at the stance on this thing, huh? It'll be one bad machine. <laughs> yeah, it still needs a lot of work. There's a lot of rot down here, original rot. And it's all original steel. It's just more steel that has been, you know, plucked out of the woods, plucked out of fields of Utah, plucked out of wherever just not put in the scrapyard any metal we can save from going to the scrapyard is good metal look at that huh look at that wonder how many things this thing has seen how many miles you know what, what this saw on the roads in its day what other cars it saw where it drove I just love looking at stuff like that you know what else? it's all got a story to tell but let's just back off give you a good look here and then we'll get one side view and probably end it <laughs> Look at that. Uh, hey, Dash, if you see this, you got any cars like this down there at H2O? I know he's down there. Damien's down there. Speaking of Damien, we're... <laughs> yeah, huh? <laughs> but these guys are all down there. I don't know if Jimmy's down there or not. No, Jimmy didn't go this year, I don't think. But Dash is down there. Say hello to Dash. Go check out Steel Drum Smokers Barbecue. He's going to be down at H2O all, all weekend. Why can I not talk today? Gonna be down there all weekend, showing a lot of car content, and then uh, once he gets back, he'll be doing some barbecue. So I think I'm gonna wrap it up here. All right, well, it's windy. Hopefully the video came out all right. I'm on straight, solid ground again. I think I'm in a picture. I don't know, I don't care. As long as you guys got to see this, you're not here to see me, you're here to see that. Really cool, like I said, I think it's 40, I, I can't remember, it's been so many years. Um, the marker lights would have been in the front of the fender, it was a 41, so it's gotta be a 40, before they had them up top, so. Yeah, pretty neat. Um, it's gonna get put back together. It's gonna do some body work. It does run, but it's gonna get driving. My can falling over still. It's gonna get driving, turning, maybe stopping. We'll figure that out later. And uh, I'll get some clips down the road before we uh, before we launch it. So, so it's pretty neat. Thought you guys would enjoy it. And uh, how should I wrap this up? I'll give you a moment of serenity. 
love my interiors on these old cars. They gotta stay original. I hate when people replace them with digital gauges. I mean, yeah, you can put the gauges down below that you need, but I love that original look. Here's your moment of serenity. Get out there and discover your world, my friends. You'll never know when you'll find a maybe 1940 Chevrolet converted into a truck. This was a four-door, too. Pretty cool. <laughs> this is how you make a four-door cool. You know, four-doors are cool now, though, because all the two-doors got destroyed. So now we're getting those. Oh, look at this on the floor. It's got an old Body by Fisher tag. Remember those? God, I grew up in cars with those. Cool. Thanks for watching, friends. Get out there and discover your world. You'll find cool stuff like this. You could still find these cars. Don't let people tell you you can't. Look at that look, huh? <laughs> and hopefully, that will be coming in. That's another project that was from a while ago. All right, I'm really going to end it this time. Have a great night. Thanks for watching.